Prince Maria here from Pepperly Rose Paper Crafting. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. I'd like to thank you all so much for joining me. I am absolutely blown away by um, the amount of subscribers I received yesterday and also how my video did yesterday. I was just blown away as to how many people have given me such lovely messages and comments. I am so glad you enjoyed it and I hope that I, um, you know, please you every single time um, you come to my channel and I hope you enjoy what I create. Um, so today, I, as promised, I am going to show you a project made with um, a new stamp set called Rooted in Nature. This is coming up in our brand new Stampin' Up! catalogue. Unfortunately, I can't show you anything on the inside as yet, even though I'm dying to, but let me assure you the products in here are amazing. I hope you all hopped onto my blog um, yesterday, or you can do that today as well. Have a look at the different colours that will be coming on, and, um, and you'll be very pleased. The colours are absolutely awesome. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. And in today's video, I'm going to feature the Rooted in Nature. And I'm going to be concentrating on those two leaves, which are just beautiful. And I love how delicate they look and very lifelike. So I'm going to concentrate on these two leaves plus the sentiment, you are wonderful. And I'm going to make a card with colours that are not really natural. I know that sounds a bit weird, but I, I thought this is nice to do something a little bit unusual. So uh, for today's card, I'm just using half an A4 sheet, scored in half again, and that makes it an A6 card base. So I'll be using that today. So I'm just going to uh, burnish the score line that I have already done. On top of that, we're going to have a piece of um, gold foil basic black I'm going to lay that on top I'm not going to give dimensions only because you can adapt this to choose whatever card base you want so all you have to do is just make sure that the gold panel is smaller than the uh, black one again is smaller and as you can see I've already punched through some shapes with that so you can use scraps like this and um, use them again and if you put that on top no one will know what's going on underneath so it's a little tip for you so you don't waste your materials and again I'm going to use a whisper white piece of cardstock right on top of that so it's going to look like that and then on the inside I'm just going to have a layering piece of whisper white cardstock and we'll decorate the inside as well so we'll get started on the card and um, what I'll do is I'll just grab the smaller piece of cardstock and I'll just grab a Sorry about that, I'll just grab a piece of uh, scrap paper. And I've used this before, but it doesn't matter. All right. <laughs> and what I'm going to grab is my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. I love this ink and my Melon Mumbo. And I'll just grab the leaves. So with the big leaf, I'm going to stamp that in melon mambo and I'll just do that mainly down the side there so I'll just stamp a little bit off the page and look at that that's how beautiful and delicate it looks it's just stunning and then I'll do this and do that Okay. and I'll just stamp a little bit more down here just off the page so it looks like that I'll just bring this up a bit more sorry about that okay so that's that page done and then for the inside since I've got the melon mumbo out I'm just going to stamp along the bottom there the leaf okay so that's for the inside so I'll pop that to one side close my ink pad up and I'll bring that other one there and I'm going to use the smaller leaf so you get a larger leaf and a smaller leaf and I'm just going to ink that up in memento ink okay and I'll just stamp like so that turned out really pretty I love that And 
like that. If it overlaps a little bit, that's okay. And I need to fill in the gaps here. So what I'll do with this is I'll just do here. Just a little bit up there. And just do that there too. And then I'll um, bring back my Melon Mambo one. And just fill up some of the gaps. And then I'll bring this back again too. Oh, I put in my black ink. Oh no. What have I done? I've confused the ink colours. When that happens, just grab a tissue. <laughs> so here's an example of when you don't concentrate, right? <laughs> so if you happen to get a black on Melon Mumbo, grab a tissue and just blot it out in the one spot. And hopefully <laughs> that will bring out the black ink. Oh, that's such a waste. I hate doing stuff like that. Makes me mad. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. <gasps> I'm so upset. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just going to grab my stamp and I'll just stamp it off if I can. It still stamps well, actually. There you go. It's not all gone. It's mostly gone anyway. See how that looks. Yeah. Try and blot it off blot it off as much as possible and then I'll re-ink this oh that's such a bummer I hate it when that happens <laughs> Sorry. all right that was silly of me good grief all I wanted was the memento ink and I got confused and I just put it in my melon mambo oh and in black oh anyway do that again and just to try and fill in the spaces a bit more. Okay, I think that's done now. <laughs> oh, and whilst I have the basic, uh, not basic black, the memento black, I'll just um, add in another um, black leaf there. So that's done. So that's for the inside. Oh, hate waste. All right. So with this now, I'm going to take that away. I'm going to um, heat emboss that in gold. So I'm just going to put my embossing body over and I'm going to heat emboss the sentiment You Are Wonderful from the stamp set. Okay, I'll grab my Versamark ink pad. I've got to watch what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, I hate stuffing it up. But anyway, it happens to everybody. So there's your lesson learned. You can blot it off with some tissue and then you can continue on and it stamps okay afterwards so no drama alrighty so I'm just going to use uh, put my sentiment over here and keep it really simple so I'll just stamp it and just hold it there for a few seconds alrighty now I'm going to bring in my gold embossing powder and I've just emptied the Stampin' Up! gold embossing powder into a container and I'm now going to do that. See, isn't that beautiful? And I'll just get some more embossing powder there. Just a little bit more powder. All right, so what I'm going to do is off camera, I am going to heat emboss it and I will come back. Hello, <laughs> I've just finished um, heat embossing that. So it's got a, a beautiful shine with the gold. See that? Ooh, nice. So what I'm going to do now is just put this card together. And um, I'm very sorry about my blooper, but... Um, it's kind of good to show you um, what can happen if you don't pay attention. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to put some liquid glue just on the back of this. And I'm going to um, 
layer it on. The gold um, piece of gold foil there. And then I'm going to add some more glue on the back of my gold foil one there. Okay, and I'm going to layer that on. Sorry if I was off camera there for a second. I'm going to add that onto my card base and just square it on. I'm just fixing the black at the same time because it's a bit out of um, out of alignment, and I don't want to see the um, the punch out that I did down the bottom. Okay, so that's lovely squared on. I love that little touch of gold around that. That looks really cool. So with this now, I'm just going to layer that on top. I think that looks lovely. Hope you do too. I hope you like this card. And I'll just um, put a little bit of glue just down the sides. Layer that on top. Square that on. Nice. Yep. Just hold it down for a little bit. It's warped with the um, head embossing, the page. So I'll just um, do that. Just flatten it a little bit. Okay. And for the inside, I'm just going to add that layering white piece of cardstock there. Just go like that. Okay, so that's all done now. Um, yeah, I hope you like this card. I like using leaves in kind of unusual colours. It kind of, um, yeah, just, just think a little bit outside the square sometimes. It, although it's a nature set, you can use that in other ways as well. So um, I hope you like that. Um, very simple to do. And big tip, don't stuff up <laughs> by putting black on Melon Mumbo. But as the tip goes too, if you do that, you can actually blot out the ink with the tissue. And then you can re-ink the stamp pad and start again. My stamp pad was actually quite um, juicy anyway, so that was okay. It worked out all right. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed um, today's tutorial. So this is a stamp set that's coming up um, and it will be available to you on the 1st of June of this year when the catalogue, the new one goes live. Um, so yeah, if you want to uh, be able to pre-order it, you can do so now by joining my team. So join my team at pebblyrose.stampinup.net and uh, you can now pre-order this too if you like. So I hope you like this card. So I'll just give you a close up with the gold and the embossing. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? So that's the outside and this is the inside, see, um, very nice, you can choose your natural colours as well, I just thought it will be nice to um, think of something a little bit outside the square. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial, if you haven't already subscribed and you like what you've seen, please subscribe to my channel, I'll really appreciate it and if you'd like to purchase um, any products that are current at the moment, I would really appreciate uh, to have the opportunity to earn your business. So please head on to my online store at pebblyrose.stampinup.net. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye.